I'm uh, Karen Pierce, I'm Director of Grounds for Cinnaboyne Park Conservancy and uh, I look after all the, the turf and the trees and the, uh, the environmental and landscape aspects of the park. Not the um, horticulture per se, but and the, um, some of the zoo horticulture. So my involvement in this particular project was I've done a lot of work with playgrounds before and so my boss came to me and said, have you done outdoor playgrounds? Have, have you ever done indoor playground? And I said no. And he said, well, go research it and come back with some ideas. So that's what I did. Um, I went to a couple of the playgrounds in town, the indoor playgrounds. Um, I have a son who's much older now, but when he was younger we went to indoor playgrounds. So I looked up some of the indoor playgrounds, I went on their websites, I called um, some different people who had the playgrounds. Um, and then uh, through the websites I kind of peeled it down to who I thought might be interested. I sent out um, some information, very, very sketchy information, saying this is roughly what I'm looking for. It needs to be stellar, stunning, something no one's ever seen before. It has to be environmentally sort of conscious, it has to be um, educational and a whole lot of fun uh, and easy to clean. And um, th from there we went down to three companies, um, we had three submissions and three proposals. Um, we had everyone present for us and um, Orca Coast was awarded the contract. Then the rest of the team, Rick and Catherine, um, took it from there. It is um, amazing. They knocked it out of the park. It is exactly what I had envisioned, um, just from a perspective of, like I said, the three things I was looking for. It had to be something no one had ever seen before. It had to be interactive and educational, and it had to be really fun. Um, we haven't cleaned it yet, so I don't know about that part, but um, from what I understand, it looks pretty easy so far. So um, I'm really impressed with it. I, I think it's going to be really successful. On Sunday, we had a ton of children here, and they really, really enjoyed it, as did most of the adults. So I think it's really it's going to be fun. Mm. I really love the iClick um, the Northern Lights, because I think that's really fun, but that big slide, the circular slide, was really fun. That's from an adult's perspective. <laughs> and another thing that was interesting is the sound. We had 50 or so kids in here and um, on Sunday, and, and even though there was a ton of children, it wasn't like some places where you go where kids play where it becomes so harsh on your ears that you get frazzled and the kids get frazzled, so I think the, the sound continuation was really nice too. That's good. My, my next project is to, to do the landscaping, so that when you look out that window, you will see the bears, but also all the plant material that goes along with it. And we will be... Um, Putting that together with the things that are representative of Churchill, we can't grow all of the exact species, but we'll do something that's really good for the bears and that will give you the impression of Churchill. Um, once that's completed, then um, I think we move on to the new conservatory and um, and other parts of the zoo.